everyone and welcome back to another video for the hashtag one collection three styles 23 open collaboration that i am co-hosting with melinda davis and melissa sue here on youtube the links will be down below i encourage you to hit the hashtag to see how melinda and melissa are progressing through their project Today is video four. So yesterday you saw that we assembled our album. That's what I am working on is an album. Uh, today is part four and this is where we talk about the extras. What are we pulling in now to embellish? I have not laid my paper yet. I have not cut my paper, my decorative paper yet. Although I do have my cover uh, choices set aside to cover my book I also um, have my choices of layout my pages are all designed as you saw yesterday and now I have to lay that paper down and looking upon the paper I just started looking through my stash and I pulled out a ton of stuff anything that I thought would go shabby chic so we're going to talk about what I pulled out today so I pulled out these appliques that were gifted to me long, long time ago uh, by Elsa, and I've never used them. This is exactly how she sent them, and this is exactly how I kept them because it kept them nice and flat. So I think it's time that I use at least one of these in uh, my shabby chic. Um, that's for appliques. As for uh, decorative trims, I pulled out this one which I bought at Amazing Savings a long time ago, and you can see I've been chipping away at it. And because it's shabby, I wanted to go with silver, because I think the silver and pink looks really, really pretty together. So I wanted to go silver, not gold. Can you believe it? I also found this in my stash. I don't know how well this is gonna work, because it's a little bulky, but I can probably use it somewhere on my cover. So I have that, and I also bought that at Amazing Savings a long time ago. I also pulled out Silver Thread. I got this from BB Craft when I used to collaborate with them. And I got a whole, um, I think it was 15 different colors of metallic thread. So I pulled that out because I've never sewn with metallic thread. I also pulled this out. Um, as I'm decorating my pockets, I'm looking for flat elements. I don't know how well this is gonna work out, um, but it is within that muted white. So I pulled that. I did pull out this um, creepy decoration. It's like a mesh um, in white. And I always buy these every year. It's a long, long piece, and I just chip away at it all year. And I had the black and now I need a white or an off-white, so I have that. Don't know if I'm gonna use it yet. I did pull out a piece of cheesecloth. Um, don't know how I'm gonna use that yet. Maybe as I layer. <clears throat> I did wanna do some stenciling on the cover with some mixed media, and I'm gonna do my own texture paste, so I pulled this new stencil that was gifted to me by Melody in a set for my birthday. So I know I wanna use that. Um, I also pulled out some eyelash trim because you can't have shabby chic without eyelash trim But I think I'm gonna mute that color down just a little bit because it's like stark white. I Did have this in my stash. This is that metal ribbon uh, From Dollar Tree, so I think I might want to incorporate a few pieces of that don't know maybe on the cover um, And then I pulled out these doilies of uh, these crochet pieces that were gifted to me also by Elsa and you can see it's almost like a flower and um, not sure if I'm gonna use it but I pulled it out you never know maybe I just want a piece of it I did pull out these um, silver corners because I do want to add corners at least that's the thought I pulled out these uh, little pieces of lace that I got from uh, all these little bits were from um, $5 scoops from Donna's uh, Dreams Time 3 sale 
along with Jelly Bean Junction. And I also pulled out these little diamonds as well. So I'm thinking for my cover, um, just adding these tucked in certain places. Um, don't know how well that's gonna work out, but they're there. I don't have to hunt for them in case I need them. Um, I did pull this out, but I went with silver, so not doing the gold, that can go back. Um, I pulled out these metal pieces that I can gesso and stain in distress to add different um, elements on my cover. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with these. Most definitely this one, not sure about that one, but I do have more and I just have to pull out the container. I am gonna be inking, so I did pull out my pink. Um, I did pull out these seals that were gifted to me in a swamp. I'm definitely using that one. Not sure how these are gonna tie in. Definitely not using that because that has gold tones, even though this one has a little bit of gold tones. I definitely know I'm gonna use that. And I pulled out a pink one that I made out of hot glue glitter. I think this was, yeah, this was the glitter one, but we'll see what works. I also pulled out this shoe. Um, it's a dangle, it's a charm. And this came from Jelly Bean Junction's $5 um, scoops. Uh, for flowers, I pulled this out because I did see some hints of green. Not sure. I wanted these for the uh, off-white and pink smaller ones. I had these in my stash. But I think I want to mute that down. Just tone it down just a bit. Um, not sure how that's going to work. I found this bling that the pinks look beautiful. It matched perfectly. And I think I can use this to decorate some of the pockets on the inside of my album. And of course, I wanted to tie in some junk journal feel, right? And I pulled out some book pages, um, just a couple of sheets. Not sure if I'm gonna use them um, as I start to embellish some of my pockets. Who knows, maybe I just might need a little bit of text to knock back um, the pattern. And then for lace, I just pulled out a ton of colors that match. This is the double, the double um, lace trim. I did that one. I also took it out in green. I think this green might be a little too bright for the paper, but who knows? I did pull out um, also in white, which I can knock back the color. I did pull out the one layer green. I pulled out this pretty one. This one I just got in a, in a hole not too long ago. Um, this is the one with the scallop edges. I like that. Maybe for my pockets if I need a little um, color. I did pull out this one. This is that really soft, soft material. Who knows, maybe for my cover. I did pull this one out in the peach. Very pretty. And then I did pull this one out, maybe for my spine, not sure. And then I pulled out the ones that um, have like that crochet feel, like I love this one with the scallops. So I don't know what direction this is gonna go in just yet, but I think I have a really good assortment of, of decorative elements that I can start with and not have to pause to go search for different items. So I think I'm off to a really, really good, good start with, um, what direction I want this to go in and I'm pretty sure one thing is going to spark something else and then I'll end up having to go back and really look at uh, what direction is going in which is probably why we gave ourselves that extra just a bit more extras because we all know that once you start uh, one thought leads to another leads to another or what you thought might work just didn't work out But I do know I want silver 
um, elements in it. I do know that I want to go with a mixed media kind of feel for the front cover, which I have my metal pieces there. I do know that I want to sew, um, so I will be doing that. And um, we'll see what else. I do know I want to ink. And um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, and I do know that I want some book page elements in it for sure. All right, my friends. So these are the extras that I pulled out to decorate, um, to start decorating my album. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop it in the comments down below. Hope you guys are playing along. Um, hit the hashtag to see um, if anyone else has been playing along with us and see if you've missed any videos. And of course, my co-hosts, Melissa and Melinda's um, links are in my description box, as well as the playlist of all the videos in this collaborations that we have published so far. So we're about halfway through, guys, halfway through. This is video part number four. And we have four more to go before we have our live discussions. I'm so excited. I am revving up and um, just having an ultimate, ultimate good time. Thank you for joining me. As always, stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.